How's it going guys? Sheepdog88 here and today I'm doing a quick little video on how to assemble and disassemble a Barrett M82A1. So to start off I recommend doing this on a workspace where you have a lot of room on the floor or something like that. Uh, works pretty well because this gun is heavy and it is big. Uh, as far as doing it on a table or something, you don't want to scratch a table. Uh, but this gun does come with a Pelican case. It does ship with that. And it's broken down into an upper and a lower. So I like to take the lower here. Uh, go ahead and drop the legs on the bipod. Makes it easier. And you do have two pins. You have a rear pin right here. So we're going to have to pull that out. It's the longer one. And you have a smaller pin. Now this pin keeps tension on the bolt carrier. So what you're going to do is carefully pull the bolt carrier back slightly, remove that pin, and slowly walk it forward. So that's your shorter pin right there. All right, so once it's configured like this, you're going to go ahead and take the upper. And as you can see, the barrel is recessed into the upper receiver. So what you want to do is go ahead and carefully slide your barrel all the way out. Uh, so it stops, which I believe is right about there. Uh, no, it goes farther than that. Hang on. If I can get it here. Oh, maybe that is the far as it goes. No, that can't be right. There we go. So what I had to do is I had to rotate the barrel. Uh, but as you can see, it's all the way forward right here. Now this part's a little tricky, but there is a trick to doing it. So right here, you have this almost like a C-ring and it has two springs holding it back. What you're gonna do is pull it and set it right in here. So very carefully, you're gonna pull this back Make sure your uh, plastic piece right here is all the way rearward. And carefully pull this back and set it in there. I'll try using two hands here. All right, so once it's captured in there, go ahead and pull it all the way back you hear it click just like that all right so now it's all the way seated now on the front right here you see it has a little lip this is gonna sit right in here there's a bar so what you have to do is run it forward so it's in there seated properly and now let me turn this around here so you guys can see a little bit better. Slide this out of the way. So now what you can do is have to pull your bolt carrier back. So this will seat properly. Now it's all the way down. We're going to put your bolt carrier forward. Now the smaller pin, right under here, there's a slot for it. So you're going to push that in. Make sure it's all the way in there. You might have to twist it as you're applying pressure. And then back here in the rear, that's where the longer pin goes. Make sure you put pressure down so that lines up properly. All right, and that's it. Your Barrett is assembled. Ready for a magazine and ready to shoot. All right, now, uh, disassembly. Should be a little bit quicker, hopefully. So I like to start off the same thing, pull the rear pin out, and then the front pin right here. Now what you're gonna do is pull your bolt back slightly as you raise the upper, and then slowly walk the bolt forward. So just like in reverse, 
this comes off. Now this is the tricky part. Let me uh, let me set that aside. So to get this ring off right here, what you're going to do is there's two cutouts. You're going to push both of those a little bit. You'll hear it click. Once you hear that click, go ahead and set it down. Move these pins out of the way. Don't lose those pins. You need them and they're pretty expensive. So you're going to grab this and carefully release tension on it. Now your barrel slides back into the receiver. It's very heavy. Careful not to pinch yourself. All right, then back here on the lower, you're gonna take the smaller pin. You're gonna pull the bolt back slightly. You could actually lock it in here after this first cutout. That stops the bolt from going all the way forward. And then take your other longer pin, put it back in by the buttstock. And then go ahead and put your legs down. All you're gonna do is pull slightly and rotate those down. And then you can drop it back into the Pelican case. So there you have it. As you can see, it fits all back in there nice and neat. Now, uh, you can, this plastic cutout or this insert does pull out of here. So you could go ahead and get foam inserts and cut out the outline of the rifle. But you do have to break it down in order to fit in this case. It's a very large gun, it's heavy. It's kind of a pain to lug around. But it's a 50 cal, so it's, uh, it's worth it, I guess you'd say. But yeah, that's uh, assembly and disassembly. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you did. Please subscribe. Thank you.